Hi guys, in this video, we'll be seeing what savings plan are, how we can purchase a saving plan in AWS and uh, basically all about savings plan. So you can visit this documentation page of AWS where all the information is provided. I will link this thing in description. So to summarize things, savings plan are nothing but reserved instances. As you can check, there are two types of savings plan, compute and EC2, where compute savings plan is the convertible RI and the EC2 instance savings plan is the normal reserved instance which we were using as of now. So uh, here you can check that it provides up to 66% and up to 72% of saving for EC2, for compute and EC2 respectively. So we'll just sort this thing out. So I did a little research on this and go went through this website where the exact distribution according to one or three years is provided. Okay, so I have highlighted a certain key points. As you can check, for one year, 38% is the savings provided and for three years, it is 58%. And uh, as you can check, it is a difference between the RIs and the savings plan. The major difference is marked in red where it automatically flexes regarding the instance size or the operating system in savings plan. Whereas in reserved instance, you have to manually select the instance type and OS. Also in compute savings plan, there is one more benefit at, uh, as it get applied to EC2, Fargate and Lambda as well. So basically in the normal reserved instance, we have to select the instance type and windows. And in convertible reserved instance also, we have to select the instance type and the OS where you can change after a certain time. You can change between the instance type and not between the OS. Whereas in savings plan, you get the flexibility to do it. You can uh, select, uh, just purchase a saving plan and that's it. It will automatically flex according to the OS and the instance type. You can also change them afterwards. So to summarize this, we can go to the AWS pricing calculator. So I'll link this thing also in description. When you create an estimate, I have already created one. As you can check, first is on demand, standard RI, convertible RI and savings plan. So you can check for uh, instance type. In this example, I've taken the M5.x large instance type. Its monthly cost is $140. And uh, if you have standard RI for the same, it will cost 88. And the uh, instance savings plan also will have 88. The convertible RI will be 102 and the compute savings plan also will have 102. So the pricing is same. Uh, so we can confirm this with this pricing calculator. Also, we'll go to the console and try purchasing a savings plan. So we'll head over to Cost Explorer directly. There you can find the savings plan dashboard. As you can check here, overview, inventory, recommendations, everything will be provided. So we'll head over to purchase a savings plan. So here there are three options. The SageMaker one, we aren't concerned about it right now. So we'll go to the instance one first. So instance savings plan is nothing but the normal RI. So here we'll do a commitment of one or three region. The instance family. Here you can select any instance family that you would like. So then it will automatically flex in M5 instance family. After that, there is a hardly commitment. So now this we will learn to calculate how we can calculate this. Uh, and after that payment and uh, add to cart and you will directly purchase a savings plan. So let's see a compute one. In compute, only thing is there is no option to select the instance type. It automatically flexes no matter which instance you're using and the Harley commitment. Now let's see how we can purchase a Harley commitment, how this is calculated. So for that, I have an example Excel over here. Suppose in my environment, there are two instance type, two instances. One is on M5 and the other is on C5. Now suppose this M5 instance is running 24 by 7. So we will calculate first as hours utilized by this instance type for that we'll go to calculator and uh, 30 days in a month into 24 hours as it is running 24 by 7 so it will come up to 720 and the other instance type suppose this is running only monday to friday 24 by 7 so it will be okay 22 days of the month excluding the weekdays weekends and 24 hours so it sums to 528 now let's we'll see what are the dollars what is the spending on this hours for that we'll again go to the pricing calculator click on create an estimate so service will be ec2 after that just select the instance type so in our case it was on 5.x large 
here it is that will be on demand and under this usage type we will do hours per month and it was 720 c1 ad service okay we'll do it once again for c5.x large as well i'll speed up the video in this Okay, so as you can check, we have the monthly cost for both. We'll copy this into our Excel. So let's see what are dollars per day. We can easily calculate it by dividing it by 30. And this we can calculate by dividing it by 24. Now we will do a sum here. Okay. So now as you can check this value over here is the dollars per hour that my instance will 100% will utilize. So according to this I can purchase a savings plan according to my convenience. So suppose if I am going with compute savings plan I can easily enter this value over here which is 0 0.26. So Let's do it manually 0 0.26 double 3. 0 0.26 double 3. We can also be precise 89. Wait, after four digits, we can enter it and then you can directly add to cart. And we can directly sum it order, but we won't do this time. So after you purchase savings plan, it will also use also show you the utilization utilization report and the coverage report. So mostly everything is over here rather than managing a reserve instance so the savings plan is a better option so you can quickly go with it so that's it for this video i hope uh, i was able to convey the message and if you guys have any questions you can definitely ask it in the comments also do follow me on linkedin thank you for watching this video have a good day